Southern Swing in Franklin, Georgia. We were here a year ago with Emory Jones. A lot has happened in the last year. How you doing, man? I'm good. How about you? Doing great. Last time we came out here uh, was the day before Ohio State came out and offered you, saw you throw. Mm -hmm. what, what, a, what a crazy year it's been. Yes, it has been. It, you know, now you're kind of one of the leaders of this class. Uh, a lot of people look at you as uh, as kind of maybe a little bit of a recruiting ringer. Mm -hmm. and, you know, how, how have things changed over this last year for you? Um, a lot of things have changed just with, like, my recruiting process and all that. And just um, being, just being um, committed to Ohio State, it's just been a great year. Now, Ohio State has gone into the state of Georgia. They've gotten a commitment out of Brenton Cox. Mm -hmm somebody that you have, have talked to a lot. I mean, you know, you did you know that one was coming? Um, yeah, I actually knew who was up there at the spring game. I knew it was going to happen. What, 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 what's Ohio State getting with Brent Cox? I mean, I know that he's yeah. out of a different part of the state, but, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're you a football guy, so you you know what all these guys are capable of. Yeah, you know, he's just – he's a Georgia boy. We had that, that type of swag. Um, he's a big, strong dude, um, fast off the line. He's, he can use his hand real, real well. I was going to say, when you guys are both up in Columbus, you're going to be happy wearing that no-contact jersey at quarterback <laughs> ones against ones, right? <laughs> yeah, I probably would. Um, but, you know, you're looking to even do more damage in the state of Georgia, you know, in terms of, of, of pulling top guys into Ohio. I mean, you know, what 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 is that like being in that role? Um, just being in this role, I mean, it's a blessing. I'm just, um, just trying to recruit more, get the best of the best from anywhere. It doesn't matter like, which state or anything. But I have um, some people I'm talking to in Georgia right now. Yeah, there is supposedly this group chat that's going <laughs> on amongst a lot of members of this 18 class. And, you know, there's some guys on there that, you know, are, are not committed anywhere, but uh, there's good feelings about them. Is, yeah. that, is, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, we're in a, a big group text. I mean, all the commits are in there. We have um, a lot of other like uncommitted prospects in there that um, we're looking to get and trying to get. Some of the guys saying the right things? Oh yeah, definitely. So, you know, it could be could be some more booms going on after oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah, oh um, yeah. You know, turning to your season a little bit, uh, you only got to play five games last season. I mean, how, how, how are you health-wise? I mean, you know, as, you, as you're going through spring ball now and getting ready to go into your senior year. Um, Right now, I think I'm 100%. I've been throwing the best I ever have been right now, and I'm just feeling confident. I'm feeling confident about this um, upcoming season. And you know, there have been some changes at Ohio State since the time that you committed in, or Kevin Wilson, Ryan mm -hmm. Day. You know, just talk about rebuilding. You know, building new relationships with some new guys as they come in. You know, in, in, in the process, because obviously we know that recruiting is a relationship business. You know, getting these relationships mm -hmm. going. Yeah, building um, relationships with people, that's always good. But, um, Coach Day, he's been down here like three or four times. I've been to Ohio State with him one time, but I mean, we talk every day. Coach Wilson, I talk to him a lot too. We always, we always chat it up. I always, I'm laughing at something. Coach Meyer, you know, we always talk every day. He texts me every morning, every night. I mean, we always just have casual conversations. Have you seen maybe as as you went from being like the new recruit when or the new commit mm -hmm. last year to where you are now, do the conversations change at all? You know, amongst you know the coaches and yourself as you become, you know, cemented in the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they change a lot because like right now, they could on um, like they're like talking to me like I'm a player already, and like the biggest thing right now is just getting me like back up there, started learning plays, and just like just progressing more like I'm a, a player. Now, they're talking to you like you're a player. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like they're that concerned about the, the how solid your commit is. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were some people that were maybe a little bit concerned, yeah. but, you know, is, is there reason to take pause? Oh, no, there's no reason to um, to be worried or anything. I'm 110% committed to Ohio State, and they know that, and they feel very confident about my commitment. Yeah, you know, and just you recently were at uh, at the Rivals camp, uh, mm -hmm. the Three Stripe camp presented by Adidas, and, and you, you punched your ticket to go to the Five Star Challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. You were there with Trevor Lawrence. I mean, did you do you find yourself competing with, with, with Trevor? I mean, you know, a couple of Georgia boys competing to be that top quarterback in the class? Oh, yeah, definitely. We compete everywhere we go. Um, everywhere he's been, I've been. 
And we just always compete. We love to compete. But then when we get off the field, we're like buddies. You know, that's my guy. But when we're on the field, we just always compete. But um, yeah, I love that. I mean, do you feel like going with somebody who's very much your peer in terms of talent level, I mean, drives you even more? Oh, yeah, definitely. And um, one thing that we do want to kind of talk about, we had an opportunity to sit down with, with, with Jason Horn out of <laughs> Alpharetta, and he said that he was playing video games with you around the time of the spring game and that you walked away from the game, and he said that he could have taken it to you. I want to give you your chance to uh, maybe set the record straight. Actually, I was winning the game. I think I was winning about 14, but I had to leave with um, some more players to go somewhere, so I couldn't finish the game. You see, he told a very different story, and it, and then he also had another excuse saying that he was not an NC2A player. He likes Madden better. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's excuse of losers right there. I was going to say, you know, if, if, if you guys are able to pull him, you might have to uh, set him straight again. So, <laughs> I know. You know, last, last, last question, you know, just kind of getting back to recruiting. Sometimes it may be hard to think about it while you're in the middle of the situation, but this could shape up. We, last year we were talking about the 2017 class maybe mm -hmm. being the best class of all, of all time for Ohio State. This 18 class has that opportunity. I mean, is it just kind of crazy being being in that? Um, It is crazy. But, like, all the people that are committed, we know what we have coming. So... It's exciting. Last thing, and you can you can answer it or you cannot answer it. Who should we keep an eye on? Give me one one recruit out there that we should be keeping an eye on. Somebody that you want uh, to go on the record with. Uh, I'd rather keep that enclosed. <laughs>